a little cat moment because he's always sleeping here when I film. It's adorable. Look at that. Look at that. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today's gonna be a favorites and fails for the month of March and February. I don't do a monthly favorites, like strictly monthly, because there's just so many things to try on. And if you wanna do every month, you're gonna have to like buy a lot of stuff. I can't keep buying stuff. Today's theme is green. So my sister did give me a Pokemon palette and I just use the greens over at the bottom to get this look and look for a dress that matched the look. Oh, and I have these earrings that I bought from the Philippines. So green, yay! Let's start with the fails. First fail is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams Putty Primer. Actually, it's just the putty primers in general. I really want to like this. I bought the original. I tried it. I have a video and I'll be linking it up here. It smell is divine. It smells like Oreo cookies. I never really got to really liking the primer for my oily combo skin. I just don't see much of a difference. I feel like this is moisturizer. As like a makeup base, I just don't see the appeal for my skin type in particular. It just didn't work out for me, unfortunately. Another by the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams collection is this gloss. This is in the shade Brain Freeze. It looks like a pretty like basic gloss. It doesn't really give you any color. It's the packaging as well. When you remove the doe foot applicator, it just takes so little gloss like you have to really scoop it in it doesn't really do much so unfortunately I don't like this but there is another gloss that is in my favorites that I will be mentioning in a while so one not really fail I don't want to say it's a fail but it's like a meh all of those products are meh this is the Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer I have heard nothing but good things about this when it first launched and when I finally found a Catrice near me I picked it up I'm wearing this today it's it's nice but it's not amazing I think it was because I was expecting so much maybe if I had tried it the first time I would probably put this in my favorites but one of the reasons as well as why this is in the meh category is I have another concealer that looks exactly the same in packaging but it's like it's absolutely amazing and I absolutely love it this is not the only concealer I'll be mentioning today in my meh, so stay tuned for the other one that's probably gonna shock everybody. One I did not really enjoy is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. <sighs> Everything is either too pink or too yellow or too dark. I think it's because one reason is I have a lot of acne scarring, I have redness, and I have huge pores. It didn't really give me a lot of the things I'm looking for. and I just didn't like how my skin looked when I had this on. I felt like my pores were extra large. And then the final thing on my meh list that I've tried so many times to make work is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Okay, this is in so many people's favorites. Even oily skin people like this concealer. I do not. <sighs> it creases on me so badly. I'm still doing my makeup and I already see creasing and I already see my under eyes looking bad and I'm like... Am I doing something wrong? I tried using a brush, I tried using a sponge, I tried setting it with different powders. So I'm just curious, how do you make this work for you? Because this is pretty pricey for a concealer from the drugstore and it's a lot of concealer and I really want to use it. I'm thinking of just using it as foundation. This is just no good for me. Moving on to my yay, my favorites, this concealer. Okay, we have a lot of concealers. I've been testing concealers here and there. I absolutely love this concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Incognito mega last concealer I see a difference when I use this it actually doesn't crease all day until like the end of the day I compared it to the camouflage I compared it to the bear with me like side by side and I noticed that this does not crease as much as those two do and I'm really shocked because this is wet and wild this is a drugstore concealer this is in the shade light beige which is typically my shade but I just really like this one this elf power grip primer is amazing I love this primer. I have literally four primers right now. I'm testing out the marshmallow one, the e.l.f. Uh, putty one, the NYX version of this, the one in that neon yellow packaging. By far, this is my favorite. I can feel the makeup lasting longer. I can see the makeup more smooth on my skin and it just really does a good job. I am not a big primer person. This one is good. I like this. I see a difference and I'll continue to use this. Sticking with the complexion category, it's more of a combo. The NARS Soft Matte 
and the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So this one is in the shade Light 240. This one is in the shade Light 2 or Mont Blanc. I actually haven't been using this alone because it's too dark for me. I can't find my shade. As usual, I never find my shade in the drugstore. Now that summer is coming, this is too light for me, the NARS one. I ended up just trying to mix them both and I love it. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's super full coverage and it looks great and I absolutely love this combo. This is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams sponge. This is so good. It washes really well too. I use this almost all the time and it's it's so easy to wash. You wash it and it's almost all gone and it's almost like clean. I love it and I love marble and I want like five of these. This is what I was talking about earlier with that breeze one, the blue one. This one doesn't really do much but this one, this black one, I love this black one. It transforms your nude into something different. You know what, let me just put some here right now. And I don't know if you can see that, but I really like it on top of nude lipsticks. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging because when I open it up, there's nothing on the wand. I don't like this packaging. I prefer the Lifter Glosses by Maybelline. That packaging is superb. This is in the shade Cookie Dreams Cookie. Oh, Cookie Dreams. Another one by the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams collection is this lip exfoliator. I have not tried the original. I know they have an original lip exfoliator. When I saw they had come out with a cookies and cream one, I'm like, why don't I just try this one? And it's so yummy and I really, really want another one of these. I like the exfoliators. They're easy to apply and you just scrub your lips and then just wipe it off with like a cotton pad. I love how it tastes. I don't eat it but I like how it, the flavor of it and the experience of me using this. And I actually really like the product as well. Okay, this one. Thick It, Stick It by NYX. Some people with thinner brows don't enjoy this, but I, with a thick forest brow moment, love this. This is in the color taupe. I don't necessarily use this to deposit color. I have a pencil that I've been using for years from H&M. I've been using that to deposit color on my brows and then I use this to keep my brows up and combed in the exact place that I want it to be combed. It just stays on all day. All day. So far my favorite brow gel in the drugstore. One is a skincare item. This is the Regenerating Balm Mask with Organic Marigold by Yves Rocher. I still do not research how to pronounce their brand name. I'm so sorry. I like this. I didn't think I would because it's a weird consistent. So it says it's a balm mask. You would think that it would be like butter. I use this as a moisturizer and it just it makes my skin so soft. It almost fills up my pores somehow and I can smell it sometimes throughout the day. If you don't like scents, you might not like this, but I can smell it sometimes, like a whiff of it, especially when I wear my mask and it just calms me down. It helps with the redness of my skin as well. I really like this one. I'm gonna be posting a video all about Ives Roche. Ives Rocher very soon because my sister did give me like an advent calendar box and I'm slowly going through that box and I have a lot of thoughts and I'll be posting a video on that very soon. Final product and I'm cheating here and I'm sorry but I'm cheating. You know how Dior came up with that glow blush in that lilac color and people have been saying there's a this dupe from Essence. Well, I got the dupe because I can't afford the Dior one. I have watched a lot of videos trying to find a dupe for the Dior one. This is in the Berry Connection and it is really pretty. It's not the blush I'm wearing right now because it doesn't really go with the green, but I, I am wearing Luminoso by Milani, also another favorite. Loved it for years. This one is gorgeous. When you put it on your skin, you have this beautiful flush, very springtime flush of color and it lasts a really long time too. I've only been using it for a about a week so I am cheating about this you know favorites of the month of February and March it's just really nice and I really like this one there you have it it was a short but sweet video don't forget to hit like subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next and ring that bell for any notifications when I post new videos thank you so much have a good day bye